Hi, my name is Alexis McAvoy from Hillsboro, California in the United States of America. This year, I designed and synthesized economic, eco-friendly, and efficient cellulosic biofuel from Carbobrotus edilis, or ice plant, walnut shells, and kelp. Cellulosic biofuels are a potential solution to the renewable energy crisis. However, they are currently too expensive to be realistically implemented in society. I selected these precursors to avoid the necessary costs and energy of land crop maintenance, as well as avoid potential biodiversity loss in precursor acquisition. After collecting and pulverizing precursors, I treated them with a dilute sulfuric acid pretreatment to break apart lignocellulosic quantities and then poured the slurries into jugs where I fermented them with SARVCA for two weeks. This would both break down the cellulose and hemicellulose as well as ferment the formed monomers into ethanol, which I tested with an MTT chromogen ethanol assay modified for a home laboratory environment. Rigorous, iterative, and reproducible phase two testing showed that ice plant was the most successful bioethanol by far. A 7.5% slurry producing an average of 6.4% ethanol compared to kelp's 1.7% ethanol and other bioethanols average of around 1% ethanol. This is likely due to ice plant's high volume concentration as well as potential yeast favorable nutrients in ice plant's composition. Factors I hope to investigate in the future. I corroborated these ethanol yield findings with a mass fractionation of lignocellulosic quantities and found that ice plant and walnut shells had the highest percentage of glucan lignin. Based on reviewed literature and my current knowledge, this is the first time that ice plant has been used as a bioethanol precursor. Overall, my experiments have shown that ice plant is highly successful as an economic, eco-friendly, and efficient cellulosic biofuel.